Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to another video. It is your girl Moya with the baddies in the bag. And in today's video, we are cash stuffing $180 in saving challenges. Now, before we do that, of course, we gotta jump right into our positive quote for today. And let's see what's going on. Positive quote for today reads, stay true to you. Ooh, stay true to you, girl. Don't be nobody else but yourself and if um people come into your life friends boyfriends girlfriends whoever it is that comes into your life and wants to change who you are baby change them anyone who tries to change you change them okay it's that simple so today we are stuffing from our unicorn bag this is the unicorn bag available on the website right but I mixed up the challenges. So I only have my highlighters and my bingo challenge from the unicorn bag. And then I have the little mini um, attitude girl challenge from the pink um, goodie bag. So this is just a mixture of my two challenges that are my favorites. And we're going to stuff these. And then we're also going to be stuffing big bag savings. So let's get into that. First, let's start off by counting the cash. Let me get my cash tray. So we're supposed to have $180 here for saving challenges. So let's go ahead and count. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So $180 is what we have today to save. Don't y'all just love to save? Back then, I used to hate to save, but now I love me some saving. Love some saving. So let us go ahead and get into this little bag. And let's start off with these little challenges here. So right here, we have the spoiled bundle so we're doing spoiled we're also doing the bingo because how can i resist the bingo the bingo is so cute and it's bingoing so i'm just like let's get into bingo and let's get into the spoiled what i'm gonna do is these stuffings are going into an envelope in my big bag saving challenge binder because I don't really have a separate binder for all the challenges. I'm just going to keep all the challenges in the big bag binder. And then if it's a different challenge, it just goes into a different envelope. So we're going to grab our big bag binder, which is right here. And then we have a spare envelope in there somewhere. Let's see. I think this one is empty. So we're going to put our extra challenges into this envelope. So let's get started. So on the spoiled challenge, on the front page is $50, but we're going to add 30. So let's do $30 on spoiled. I'm going to use my black marker just because it's already pink. So we're going to do 10, 20, 30 so that's $30 off of spoiled and then jumping into bingo let's do hmm how much we have 80 let's do that's 30 so we have 150 let's do 50 on bingo so we're gonna do 10 20 30 Ooh, I was trying to bingo there. Um, wait, I did the wrong one. I'm supposed to go like this. 30, 40, but I can still bingo, y'all. Look, 50. Yeah, I bingoed. Okay, good. So <laughs> even though I have that little random one right there, we still bingo. So we're adding $80 to the big bag saving challenge envelope for bingo and spoiled. So let's get into the big bag. Let's get to the empty envelope. And let's add our $80 in here. So let's see, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And let's add it into this envelope right here. And that's where um, bingo and a spoiled challenge. Now we're gonna move this to the side because we're gonna go ahead and grab the book. I was supposed to use this. Oh my God, I forgot. I was supposed to use my highlighter on the bingo challenge being that it's like a rainbow thing, but next time y'all, I forgot. So let's put this up for now. And let's jump into our big bag book. Now with the books, I'm trying to get the books printed with like um, spiral bound because these things are so expensive. It's like $20 for a pack for one book. And then it's so hard sometimes with my printer to be printing so many pages. So I'm trying to find a good vendor to like make the books for me that way I can you know it's easier for me because it's a lot of work to make them by myself at home with all these orders for the books I can't do it so right now the books are on pause both the big bag savings and the budget planner I'm trying to find a good vendor to you know get them printed for me so if you guys know any good vendors that print your books maybe you have a store and you get you have books spiral books let me know please comment below and let me know a good book vendor i've been looking and i'm still searching but anyways let's get up into big bag and let's see where we're gonna go we're gonna finish page two because y'all see page two almost done so let's go ahead and finish page two. Page two needs $40 to be finished. So we're gonna do 10, 20, 30, 40. So page two is completed. Let's go ahead and add the $40 to page two and let's mark off page two off of the tracker so if we had forty dollars to page two let's see how much we saved so we saved on page two twenty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety a hundred ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty we saved a hundred and eighty dollars on page number two We did good y'all we did good now let's go on the tracker and let us see if we could mark page two off so that means we have three more pages to go before we do our on stuffing so page two is done feels good no it don't feel good it feels great <laughs> so let's put this back to the side now and let's see what other page we want to put our $60 that is remaining. So we have I'm rich in all areas of life and we have money flows easy to me. So let's go back to the front. We have 60. Let's put 30 on I'm rich in all areas of life. We're going to put 30 and this is page three. So let's do the 10. This marker is about to finish. So let's do the 10 and let's do the 20, it makes it 30. Let's jump into page three and add our $30. Page one, page two, page three. What page do you guys think is gonna be finished quicker? Like page two or what? 10, 20, 30. I feel like page two is gonna be the next one to be done. So by adding $30 to page number three, I mean page three, my bad. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So, so far we have 80 on page three. Now we have $30 remaining. So let's put our $30 on page one. So 15 and 15 is 30, right? 
let's do the fives going down. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's one, two, three, four, there's 25 and one more, 30. So this is page one. We're gonna put the remaining 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So by doing that, we now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. So 185 on page one currently. And that's basically it for our saving challenge stuffing. We have completed page number two and we have page three and page four remaining to complete before we can do our on stuffing and start on the other pages. So once I find a great vendor that I'm really, really satisfied with their products, then at that point, I guess definitely go ahead and get those books back in stock. The disbound is cute and all, but to make it by myself at home, it is so stressful. So for those who already bought theirs, I wanna see you, congrats to you, but I don't think I'm gonna make any more disc bounds because it takes up too much time and the disc bounds are just expensive. Some of them like the metal ones and then I will have to charge up the price for you guys and y'all know how I like to keep it affordable. So eh, I'm just gonna print spiral ones. So just look out for that. I'll definitely post an update when those are ready. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Once again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like, comment, and share the videos, and you have a wonderful rest of the week.